Hey, if you're just joining me, I've been working on this 69 Ford van for the last few months. I've done brakes. I've done the rear axle. We cleared out the interior. We took the locked out engine out of it. And the biggest job of them all was we replaced this entire section of this van with a chunk from another van. And that's how the van became known as Chunky. In the last video, we found a donor 300 cubic inch inline six and decided it needed to go to the machine shop. So in this video, we're gonna get that engine to the machine shop and then come back and get this engine compartment ready for the newly rebuilt engine when that happens. The engine is upside down. I've got to take this distributor out. I'm gonna put a mark on it directly in line with this hole on the side of the block. I'm gonna use this punch to make the mark. All right, again, this is upside down, but the coil fits onto the fuel pump like this. So it should slip right off here. There we go. Okay guys, I'm at Powell Machine, Iva, South Carolina. They have a YouTube channel. I've got all my engine parts in boxes in order. And then on the trailer back there, I've got the block completely disassembled, ready for machining. All right, that engine's gonna be in the shop for at least a month. So this is the perfect time to strip this firewall and get this engine area ready to accept the new engine. Gotta clean it up, paint it. I wanted to show you guys this. After cleaning this up and painting it, I was unhappy with the amount of deep pits that were on there from the previous rust. So I took some fiberglass and smeared it on with my finger. Waiting on that to harden, I'll sand it before I paint it. So after sanding it with this, we're left with a flatter surface here. All the little pits are filled up, ready for primer and paint. This is what the power brake booster looks like now that it's been painted. Really pleased with how that came out. This side is fairly well stripped. We just have one wire, but this side, there's tons of little things. Let's get started on that. So there's some heat insulation here that's held on with these straps. This old fluid jar here is busted. I bet that's a really hard part to find. It'll probably have to go back a universal piece. The hose for the windshield fluid went through this. There's a clip here. And now all along the lip here, we've got clip, clip. We've got a T here, goes to the nozzle. The horn. Looks like the factory only used one screw for this ID tag here. Let's move on to this washer motor. This one actually has a nut on the back side of it. That's inconvenient, but I'll put a vice grip on it.
This is the back side of that wiper motor. I started trying to take this off and I noticed this is pressed on. And then I noticed there's a clip right here. Once I got that off, it easily came off. So underneath here, you've got this arm that goes all the way across, but there's two bolts, it feels like, right here, and two bolts here. Once I take those off, I'm gonna need to take the wiper arms off, and then everything should fall down. I think that the effort to do that would be worth the time because you see, I could paint up under here and treat the rust. Before I do all that though, I'm gonna ask on the van forums how to get this off so I don't tear it up. This fresh air vent's gotta come out. It comes out from the inside and it is stuck. So maybe we could fix it make it work again. Found a penny. Care to guess what date? This won't budge. I'm not going to force it. You know what happens? It's sure to break. At least Steven Tyler scarfs has got to go. This goes down to the brake junction box. I got under the van and pushed that grommet out with the screwdriver. And so now, because I'm going to power brakes and the master cylinder is going to be pointing this way, way over here, these are no longer utilizable. So I'm going to pull them off. They're old anyway. And go ahead and take those off. For good record keeping purposes, there is a bracket for the lines here, here, and underneath here, on the bottom of the floorboard, I'll show you. Right there, and then the two lines go through the frame there, into the junction box. On the opposite side of that, this is what you'll find. Get that brake line out, but I had to cut that in. I cut it as close as I could so I could reproduce from here, 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 and then from here, it's gonna be a bit different due to the placement of the power booster and master cylinder. This was originally a manual brake van. In an effort to kind of unstick this fresh air vent for the driver, I pulled this side out and I'm gonna try to pull that side out too and see if the whole thing will slide out and see what's causing the bind. I'm being extra careful here. I mean, it really feels like it's glued into place along here. So this thing finally came unstuck. It's moving freely now. There is a foam around the inside perimeter that seals this thing up from cold air getting in on the driver. Fully operational now.
So to do that, I was able to just kind of push down on this side and pry up on this side and I used this plastic pry bar. oil filler tube. I've got to get a lot of this texture off. I don't know if this was some kind of undercoating. This is going to be a lot of off-camera time and effort. 